What's up guys? Wait, where Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all not ready for this. Hi, I'm Sophie. Welcome to Hamped Up. This week we look into one of the most rigorous yet decorated sports at NHS, cross country. To do this, we talked to NHS seniors Ari Benjamin and Adele Jordan and NHS sophomore Theo Starr to learn more about how their season's going. How much running are you doing in one week of practice during cross country season? At the beginning of the season, we were getting around 45 to 55 miles a week. But now that we have more races, we dropped it down a little bit to 35. Did not having an outdoor track season this past spring have an effect on training for this fall? It was tough to not have an outdoor season, especially because we had such a great senior class last year and it was hard to not have a final season with them. But summer training for cross country is a really important aspect of it. It can really make or break your season and it was actually pretty helpful to just start piling on the miles a couple months early. How has the adjustment been from last year since you guys graduated such an impactful senior class? Every year, we get a little bit scared that we're not gonna be as powerful in Western Mass as we were the previous year. But every time we just have the new senior class and everyone else on the team just steps up and really, really grinds out their training to keep the Northampton distance runner What's the biggest difference from last year and this year, racing-wise? Well, last year we had probably around 10 meets and four state meets where it's huge, it's all around the state, you're racing against everyone. It's a lot more stressful and this year it's only small meets, it's only at our home course. And so it's kind of good to get like reps in at our home course, but we run in four waves so we can like stay far apart when running and I'd say the waves are the biggest difference. We know it's different this year. Do you still like it as much? Well, personally, I peaked as a runner last year for sure, and I didn't train hard enough over the summer, but I do like that it's less stressful with less state meets, but state meets were also the best part. So I'd say last year was definitely more fun in every way. If the same condition this year happen next year, would you consider quitting or staying on the team? If they're the same, I will probably manage the team and then I'll practice with them sometimes, but no meets, just kind of doing my own thing, running, getting in shape when I can. But if we're back to normal, like last year, I'll probably continue. You are a senior and this is your first season of cross country, but you've also been a decorated runner in past track and field seasons. How are you feeling so far about this cross country season? I really love it so far just because I always ran track and I always heard about how fun cross country was. And cross country is a really nurturing environment with a lot of really great people. With this being your first season, are you and the team running into any team chemistry problems? When we can't do the team bonding activities that we would normally do, and especially since this is my first season with the team, I have not really gotten to know everyone on the team. And since we're divided into pods, you really get to know and bond with your pod, but it's hard to bond with the whole team. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. Tune in next week when we look into the girls' soccer team.